the Philippines, yet unveiled another game-changer policy to attract more foreign investors. The country is rewriting its economic rules, by opening up telecommunication, airlines, and railways to foreign ownership 100%. As the nation eases tough foreign investment law, the bill amending the Public Service Act was signed by President Duterte on March 2 and was released on March 4, 2022. The new law, allows qualified non-Philippine nationals to do business in the country, or invest in a domestic enterprise up to 100% of its capital, and liberalizes the practice of professions, not governed by existing special laws. For decades, foreigners can only own up to 40% on those industry. That's a big, turn-off, of big foreign corporations planning to invest into the country. In Southeast Asia, Singapore received the highest inflow of foreign direct investment amounting to $114.2 billion. Followed moderately by Indonesia, having a foreign direct investment amounting to $23.9 billion and Vietnam positioning the third spot, with $16.1 billion foreign investment. While Philippines comes fourth, with foreign investment amounting to $8.7 billion, even for having a 60-40 conservative policy on foreign investment. While Malaysia's foreign direct investment was $7.9 billion. The Philippines is starting to ease some of Southeast Asia's most prohibitive investment laws, as the country continue to exit the COVID-19 pandemic. In February, the Philippine Congress approved a series of amendments to the Public Service Act, that will roll back restrictions on foreign investments particularly in public services such as telecommunications, airlines and railways. Once the law is implemented, the Philippines expected to increase billions of foreign direct investments in forthcoming years. According to the lawmakers, the reforms could attract as much as 300 billion Philippine pesos or around $5.8 billion in investments over five years. The approved amendments to the Public Service Act, will aid the country's economic recovery. And it will not be a threat to domestic investors, as safeguards are well in place under the proposed amendments, dispelling fears, posed by the expected influx of foreign investors. In the final version of the bill, the distribution and transmission of electricity, petroleum and petroleum products pipeline transmission systems, water pipeline distribution systems, and wastewater pipeline systems, seaports, and public utility vehicles have been classified as a public utility, which still subject to the 40% foreign ownership cap under the Constitution. While telecommunication, airlines, and railways or any industry not included in the list, will remain as public services, and will be liberalized, allowing foreigners to own up to 100% thereof. The move, is expected to attract foreign investment in these sectors, and will benefit the public with increased competition, and cheaper prices. The new law also liberalizes the practice of professions not governed by existing special laws, those encourages foreign professionals chooses to practice its expertise in the country. Encouraging the world's best to live and work in the Philippines, could only mean well for knowledge transfer in the country. The strongest proponent for this law has been the National Economic and Development Authority. The agency said that by signing the bill into law, the Philippines is following what other countries in the region have done to corner foreign capital. Lifting foreign ownership limits is a game-changer, and not only for business, but also for ordinary Filipinos who will benefit from cheaper air fare, train tickets, shipping cost and faster and cheaper internet. For when there is a greater competition, it's the consumers who wins.